Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm. In one of the last videos we talked about our future plans for our bull calf Gandolfini here. And uh, since then those plans have changed. So one of our uh, friends on the other side of the state that we actually bought Jolene from, their neighbor, has a bull calf very similar to Gandolfini here. Same genetics. He's uh, red, homozygous pulled. A2A2 and what we're going to do is we're actually going to trade bull calves so the worst case scenario again just kind of like with him is if he doesn't turn out then we can beef him so we've been working with him on the lead here and he's doing a pretty good job So I've got some video short clips of showing you the calf that we're trading for and the sire and dam of our new calf. Uh, we'll be picking him up trading in early November. Gandolfini is a late May born calf. We will wean him at the end of October, which will be five months. And he is just growing out real nice. He also seems to have his parents' excellent temperament. This is the first first bull calf that we've halter broken, lead trained, and I have heard that it is easier to do this with a bull calf than it is with a heifer calf, and it definitely seems to be true. This is like probably only the fourth time I've had him out here by himself walking around, and we've had him tied up before for a, few, a couple days, not days, but a couple, couple times for, uh, I don't know, maybe... 15 minutes at a time so he'd pull so he would, he would pull on the rope and learn that well he's not gonna be able to pull himself free for just a couple times on the halter he's doing a really good job I think with any cow originally initially is just getting the halter on them and then being able to catch them so luckily we have a easy setup in our little pen there for us to catch them all right, I'll take you back to mom. Easy. So when I'm doing this, whenever he tries, or any of the cows try to pull away from me, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna make him resist make him do what I want him to do not what he wants to do Somehow she threw this thing off of her yesterday. I had her out back. Carl, the breeder that we're getting the bull calf from, 
He says he actually has been watching our, our videos and wants us to keep up the videos. So if you want us to keep up the videos, hit the like button. Keeps us motivated. If you've been watching our videos for a while and watch us unload these cows, you can see how uh, Jolene uh, being halter broke from an early, early age, even though she's acting up right now. Um, <laughs> No. No. Yeah, she's, well, my, my point is, is that she's uh, much easier to manage than some of our new wild heifers that we got. But that just goes with patience and having her since she's a, a, a calf and having her on the halter leading her around she doesn't want to cooperate because she just wants to eat some grass or weeds or whatever this stuff is all right so that's our new plan plans always change uh, i think it's a win-win for both of us at the there are two farms different genetics and hopefully both of these calves really looking at gandolfini compared to the calf that we went and just looked at uh, very similar in size and structure so we're hoping both of them turn out to be nice bulls but time will tell on that so stay tuned till november we'll bring them home and hopefully they they'll work with them a little bit on the on the lead they said they would but we'll see but i might be training a, another bull calf to to lead which is something that i definitely want to do on our farm having our bulls lead broke has been very beneficial if we need to move them somewhere or even when we need to work the cows to be able to tie the bull off safely somewhere so he's not getting worked up yeah yeah often when we're trying to get the cows through the chute or something like that they they get running around and the last thing that we want is the bull running around because you know he's braver than the, the cows and he might not stop <laughs> we haven't had any problems with that but it's nice to tie them off to the side and, and keep them out of the way. But ho hopefully we'll be able to train them so that we can just walk up and put, a, put the halter, rope halter on them um, like we can with Mr. President. I've often heard of Dexter's as browsers. <laughs> watch out, watch out. Okay. You can you can kind of see when I'm walking how she'll take like a fast step, but then since I have her, mm -hmm. she 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 then will stop. So she's not gonna pull me around as she's pulling me around. But these are big animals, and they do require patience and time, and they can be dangerous. All right, so that's all for now. Quick update on our future bull plans. Stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one.